Hey, eSparkers. While you're reading, you've probably noticed that there are usually pictures that go along with the story. Not only are these pictures fun, but they can help you understand what is going on in the story. For example, if I'm reading a story about a dog, a picture can help me imagine what it looks like, or maybe what it's doing. Now, imagine if my story was about a dog, but there were pictures of a bat and a panda hanging out in a park. That would be really confusing, and it wouldn't help me understand the story any better. So, since I know that pictures match the story, and that they can help me understand what's going on in the story, I can use those pictures to help me retell the story. Let's try an example. So I've already read my story about a dog, now I'm going to go back and see if I can retell what happened in the story just using the pictures. Okay, so at the beginning of the story, they introduced the dog. His name was Philip, and he was at home in his living room. I remember it was starting to get dark outside, and Philip wanted to go for a walk. Philip escaped through the doggy door and ran into a field nearby. I remember seeing pumpkins in the background and thinking it must have been close to Halloween. It started to snow, and Philip met a cat. She introduced herself and told Philip that the field was haunted and that he should go home right away. Philip didn't believe her, but he thought he heard something right behind him. When he turned around, there was nothing there, but it scared him enough to make him run back home. Now, let's look at this picture. How do you think Philip's owner felt when Philip got back home? He sure looks happy to me. See how pictures can help retell stories you've read? During this quest, try and retell some of the stories you've read just using the pictures. Good luck on your quest, and have funny sparking!